Hello everybody. It's Tanya from Dolly Day's Nursery. And this little girl here is heartfully made by me. She's my Christmas baby. <laughs> I have my flash on so you can see a little bit of shine on her head there and her nose. <laughs> but that's it. I uh, My lighting is so terrible. And I was going to use no flash, and then you couldn't even see her features. <laughs> so, she's going to sparkle. I was going to change her into another outfit, but I think I'm just going to put her in her sleeper. Um, it is nighttime. <laughs> so it's time for her to get ready for Biddy Bye. I actually um, just did an impromptu photo and put it on Instagram the other day while I was painting in between um, with the baby in the oven. <laughs> I was cuddling her and um, someone was rude enough to say it was a bad paint job and um, the vinyl was too shiny. <laughs> um, and of course it was a photo that I was trying to take one-handed with the wonky phone case that I have. The cover keeps falling and so with one hand trying to keep it all together. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I deleted it because I don't handle negative comments very well at all. <laughs> and that day I was just like and who do you think you are and she does not have any shine if you were looking at her in person she's not shiny I mean I can't help it if the light or the flash is causing that effect but anyway I move on <laughs> and I uh, just took the photo down I'm like this is why I don't go on Instagram when I ask for people's opinions, I don't get them. And when I'm not asking for opinions, I certainly get them. <laughs> so that's one thing I don't like about um, Instagram. It's not a real... I don't see it as being a real friendly place. It's not not a gathering place. It's not... Um, I don't know. It's just... To me, it's much like Twitter where you just go in and make your comments and you, you buzz out of it again and and um, it's not a real interaction type of place. I love this sea foamy or minty green on her. Now I do have a lilac color as well and I can't wait to put that on her. I do have some outfits there that she has well no I have a lot of outfits that she has not even tried on yet I just seem to put her in an outfit and I love it <laughs> I'll take her out of it change over to another outfit and then I go back to the one I loved <laughs> so she's just so sweet I really like this Levi I really feel like I want another Levi um, maybe in a Caucasian skin tone. Um, this is beautiful. I just love this sculpt. And of course, <laughs> knowing whose child this baby is sculpted after is another thing. Um, so I've seen, you know, the pictures of the real Levi and um, holding a sculpted Levi, which is kind of cool. Um, but I, I just think this is the most perfect newborn baby. Um, the, 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 the body, um, and I know it all has to do with how it's filled and how it's weighted and all that. And I can, I can lift her like this. And it's like her head goes back. And she's just... I really like how I, I have her put together. 
makes me want to have another one. So, um, I would be happy to have boys and girls <laughs> with this Levi. This is the little lilac color sleeper. It's just a, a Walmart brand. J a Child of Mine by Carter's. It has a little turtle on there. Um, what else do I have here? And I have these with the little ruffle on the bum. And the onesie is like a um, seafoam green. It's actually the same color as this um, sleeper. Not sure what Harley's doing with it right now. He's banging on something. And it says, Mommy loves me. And then this little top goes over it with the little owl. <laughs> and that is so cute. And then I couldn't pass up this one because it is like a peachy color. And it has the onesie, striped onesie, peach and white. And it says, Daddy's little girl. And I couldn't pass that up. And then the top that goes with that is this little one. It's so cute. So she'll get to wear it one of these days because she has so much, <laughs> she has so much clothes. This child has so much clothes. Um, her box packing, she came with a lot of clothes and she just has so much. But she does have, and I didn't have any newborn size clothes anymore. I just had that one three-piece, like a jogging suit with the uh, owls on it, which I had um, Delight and Essie pick that up for me one time. And I kept it because I loved it so much. But all my newborn clothes ended up going home with other newborns. I didn't have any newborns at the at the time, newborn girls, so I don't hoard my clothes. <laughs> um, especially when it, it still has the tags and everything, I just repurpose it and send it off with a new baby. I figure eventually I can get it back at another shopping trip or just not have it at all. <laughs> so she's got a nice little um, pile of clothes there now she needs her own drawer to put her clothes in <laughs> but she is so adorable um, I really struggled because even while painting I felt boy all the way and I broke down and gave her earrings I don't normally do that but I'm planning to keep her in my collection anyway. Uh, so I gave her the little earrings. They're a little bigger still than what I like. So I'm going to try to get an even smaller pair. But that was the only way I could stop myself thinking, boy. And I have enough boys. I wanted a girl. <laughs> and Santa had to deliver. <laughs> But she is so sweet and snuggly. I love her. She's one of my favorites. Yeah. And um, I believe I said before as well, when I, was, when I started painting her, I was painting her with my friend in mind. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to see them anymore because they are moved back to Bermuda. And, um, you know, we hope to go visit one day, but with this pandemic on, that is not looking like very soon. And um, so I really miss them. And uh, this is her skin tone. I was actually going to call her Mary. Um, and then Jasmine wanted to call her Lily, so 
um, I thought that was a sweet name. And then I thought, well, if I decide to sell her one day, I don't really want, you know, um, a sentimental name on her. <laughs> so I figured, yeah, Lily is, is sweet. She's a sweet Lily. She needs her hair curled. <laughs> she has quite a head of hair and I haven't taken the time yet to curl it all the way I want it. And in fact, it's not even glued inside yet. <laughs> I didn't have time for it to glue it and let it dry before Jasmine arrived. So I'm like, okay, this girly, well, her hair is not going to be filled with much anyway, so there's no chance of it falling out. But I have put it up in buckles and everything, and I mean, it's in there solid. <laughs> I, if I wanted to pull out here now, I would just have to take a bunch and rip as hard as I can. So it's nice to know that it's uh, rooted deeply enough to be secure like that. So anyway, that's my little girl. She's ready for bed. She's such a sweetheart. I just, I can't stop looking at her and I can't stop holding her. I just love to cuddle with her and she just feels so nice in my arms. In fact, she might go with me on Wednesday. I'm getting my nails done. Haha. <laughs> and she just might go with me to my appointment. <laughs> so my nail technician can fall in love with her. <laughs> Oh gosh, she's been on one outing. She went to the mall with myself and Jasmine and uh, got lots of compliments, lots of people thinking that she was real. And she actually had this, um, this little hat on and people thought it was gorgeous. Uh, where in the world did you get such a little hat like that? And I said, well, I had, I or special ordered it and uh, had it made, <laughs> but she does look cute in it. So anyway, I will stop um, rambling on. <laughs> I have work to do and um, I have to get back to my work. Working on a custom and working on the second ish issue of Reborn Life magazine. So, uh, on that note, if you would like to send in your photo, if you haven't done that in the first issue, and you'd like to have your photo in the second issue, um, as a collector to show us where in the world you are, um, you can submit a photo I just put a form up on my Facebook page, Reborn Life magazine, of the information that I need. I have been getting some entries, um, and unfortunately, some of those Reborns have um, checked out to be fake. Um, and I know sometimes people don't even realize they have one that is fake, uh, but obviously... Um, to keep the integrity of the magazine. I mean, I'm in this magazine trying to focus and put the word out there about piracy of our um, sculptors getting, you know, their sculpts stolen and, you know, there's corrupted artists out there who are working with these people um, and giving or selling um, those cheap fake sculpts, copies. So, uh, I certainly need to be very careful on what photos I'm putting in the magazine. So I have designed a little form. You don't even need to use the form as long as you give me the information. Um, but I need your first name, where you live. So, the state, I don't need the town, just the state and country or province and country or, you know, what country you're in, basically. Um, and I need to know the, the name of the sculpt of the baby reborn that you're holding in the photo 
as well as the artist of that reborn um, just so that we can screen and make sure that all the reborns being displayed in the magazine are all th authentic so um, adds a little more work <laughs> and unfortunately um, times that I have to deliver the news to someone that their photo just cannot be published so um, but I do have I think I have about six more spaces left for this issue's um, tour around the world. So uh, just remember, it's not a photo of your reborn, it's a photo of you. <laughs> you are the collector and we want to see what collectors there are all around the world. <laughs> so people are missing that piece of information and they just send me photos of reborns. <laughs> and then I have to double back and tell them, no, it has to be a photo of you. <laughs> so. Anyway, um, thanks for joining me, and I will see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.